started playing the flute in fifth grade. Originally, I was going to play the clarinet, actually. And then in fifth grade, they had all the instruments set up so you could try them out. And I touched the flute for the first time and blew into it. And the person that was standing next to the flute, um, Miss Hanahan, our elementary school music teacher, was like, wow, you have flute lips. Like, that's a really good sound out of the flute. And I was just like, that was a lot easier for me to do than clarinet. It was kind of like, this is, this is what I want. I like this more. I, it came easier to me. And then in fifth grade, I started playing, and it was like, wow, this is really cool. This is something that I like. I can, I can do a lot with this. And as you start getting better and learning more stuff, you can channel more stuff into your music. So like, it's sort of like a good musician can add a lot of emotion into what they're playing. It won't just sound dull. And so it's like being able to channel any negative emotions or like if you're really excited about something, just being able to channel that into what you're doing really helps. And it's a good stress relief. Like if school ever seemed like it was just too much with finals and everything, I could turn to my flute and play it. And so that always helped me keep it up. Yeah, well, Alexis, every, every student is different. Every human being is different. They bring different strengths and, and, and weaknesses to, to, to the experience. And um, uh, any musician will, will, will tell you that. Um, you know, no matter you know how much experience you might have, uh, there are always things you can learn from people who are you know less experienced. So all of us have, have strengths and weaknesses. And, and uh, uh, Alexis has some wonderful strengths. Um, I think she's fundamentally a very musical person. Um, uh, she's got a lot of music in her, a lot of creativity, um, a lot, a lot of imagination, a lot of ideas. Uh, which is wonderful. Sometimes you have to sort of <laughs> negotiate a little bit or, or corral those ideas a little bit. Um, um, uh, and a very quick musical mind. Um, like, you know, m most students uh, at her, her stage, we've worked very hard on, 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 on tone development. Um, 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 just making a sound that's just kind of richer, more resonant, more mature. And, um, uh, and that, that's a challenge for all of us. Well, I'm a instrumental performance major, so performing is what I want to do. And so doing all these solos helps to like, for example, back in high school, playing a solo, I would be shaking and completely nervous. And now it's like, no big deal. It's, I've played them plenty of times, especially like by myself doing it for common hour, kind of gets you used to it, gets you comfortable playing while being anxious. Like the anxiety's still there. I'm still nervous about it, but I'm pretty, I won't shake, I'll be calm. I know that I can do it. And with Wind Symphony, that's kind of like my end goal is to be able to play in an orchestra or a symphony. And so that gives you, you know, shows you what you'll be doing, and especially like because you have to audition to be into it. And there's only five seats open for flute, and there's about, as I said, 13 of us. So it gives you, it gets you used to the competition as well. Um, and then, you know, like, just a different repertoire helps you prepare so that way you have a good resume for different stuff. Well, currently right now I'm actually an art major, but I don't have enough time to continue with that major because I take about 18 credit hours a semester with just music and general ed classes. That's why it's becoming a minor, but I was going to specialize in oil painting specifically. I really like using oil paint. Um, it's a thicker kind of paint and it takes a lot longer to dry than watercolor or acrylic. Um, but you can layer on and really, I don't know, There's, I feel like there's more you can do with it. Um, and then if I'm not painting, I love sketching. I love working with graphite. And I enjoy working with charcoal, but uh, it's very messy. And at the Arts Council here down in Cape Girardeau, they have a thing called, um, like, micro galleries. And so if you're an art student or even a member of the community, you can sign up to be a member of the Arts Council. It's, I think, like $5 for students, maybe 15 I can't remember the exact pricing, but I signed up to be a member and I was able to hold a micro gallery last year. And I had about six or seven paintings, I believe. 
And I actually sold one of them while I was at the gallery. And it kind of gives a chance like for the students here to show off their work or community members to also show off their work. And they can sell paintings there. And then they hold like bigger galleries as well for some like famous artists coming in or more like well-known artists, so. Um, the goal is to hopefully get into a good grad school. And so to be able to do that, you have to audition and they have to accept you as well. And at grad school, I'd like to actually get my doctorate because I would like to be able, even though I'm a performance major, if you're a performance major and you get your doctorate in that degree, you can teach at a college level. Um, and it would be stuff like music theory or oral skills or music history. And I would like to do that and then also kind of have my own flute studio and then be able to perform in an orchestra or a wind symphony on the side of all that and maybe do like some freelance stuff like play, you know, just here and there.